Hi, and welcome to Jules Voto's Photo Focus. In this video, I'm going to be looking at Nikon's 70 to 200, 2.8 Z mount lens with the two time teleconverter, giving me an equivalent focal length at 200 of 400 millimeter. Now, I previously did a video on this lens with the 2x converter. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below. I also did another video on this lens as a macro lens, and you can see that in the description below as well. Uh, I think this is a great combination, but when I was at the wildlife refuge, there really weren't a lot of birds there that day. Usually there are, and I really didn't get a lot of shots. I wanted to put it through additional tests, so I decided to do some additional photos of wildlife. And one of the nice things with this lens, it does display the actual focal length with the converter attached on the LCD display. Now, this is not a light combination. With the converter attached, it weighs three pounds, nine ounces, or 1,630 grams, but it is hand hold holdable, especially with the VR. Uh, so I went to the Philadelphia Zoo and uh, just took a bunch of shots. Um, most of them were at 400. Most of them were at 5.6, some at F8 and a few at F11. It was a overcast day, which I really like for photography. Uh, you don't have to worry about shadows. You can shoot in almost any direction and you have nice soft light. And you could see the sharpness on these animals with this combination. Now these particular images were shot at F8 at an ISO of 800. And I think the sharpness is great. The tiger is also at F8, again at 400 at ISO 800. And these were shot through glass, um, thick glass, with scratches and fingerprints. And of course, that's going to degrade quality a little bit. This wasn't. This was, uh, there was no glass between me and the duck there. And uh, that's at 5.6 at 400. So this leopard, again, 5.6, the ones here by the tree, again, shot through glass. We're shot at F8. And the uh, focal length varied on these from the equivalent of 400 to 300, a few at 270. But majority of them were shot at an equivalent focal length of 400. So even through the glass, you know, I think these images are great. They would be sharper. The glass is going to degrade quality, as I said. So, of course, they're going to be sharper. But they're sharp enough for me. I mean, I'm not going to print these huge if I do print any. So for the web, for you know, viewing on the computer, uh, they're just fine. Now, would a dedicated 400 be better? Of course it would. You use a converter and it's going to degrade quality. These shots of the bird were at 7.1 I have that equivalent 400 focal length. This shot of the lion was at f11. And this is the only shot I got of her. She stayed there and did not move. This cheetah, this was at an ISO of 400 at 5.6, again, at the 400 equivalent focal length. And as I was saying, would a 400, the 400, 45, let's say, be sharper? Yes, it would. The bald eagle, this was shot through uh, some screening. And again, you could see the sharpness here. This is at 5.6 at 400. You know, the 100 to 400, the Nikon Z 100 to 400, which goes from 4.5 to 5.6. Yeah, that probably would be sharper at 400, but I can't justify buying such a lens. I do event photography, portrait photography, and that's the reason I picked up the 70 to 200, and it's great for that. And I have that 2.8 maximum aperture. If I want to do things like this, if I want to go to the zoo or the wildlife refuge or shoot some high school football, I could just throw on that 2x converter. Now, this combination isn't cheap. 
the lens itself, the 70-200-2.8, sells for around $2,700. The converter is $600. So that brings you to $3,300. So if you don't need a 70-200-2.8, if you're primarily sports or wildlife, you could pick up the 100-400 to for $2,700. So $600 less. And the 400 4.5, which is, from what I've read, a superb lens, you could pick that one up for $3,250. So for around the same price as this combination. And while I would love to have one of those lenses, as I said, I just can't justify it since I really do need a 70 to 200. So these penguins were very cooperative. And again, they, just having that nice, soft, overcast day works out great for photography like this and i did a video on shooting square and i cropped some of these square i was shooting you know full frame uh with a z7 which is a full frame camera but i cropped some square because i thought they looked good so look for that video i'll put a description to that video as well in the description below on my, I believe I called it shooting square with a digital camera. I used to shoot with a Hasselblad years ago when I did weddings, and I always loved the square format. Now, since this was an overcast day and the lighting was flat, which, as I said earlier, I like shooting in those conditions. It's, it's also great for uh, people photography. I did have the camera set for a vivid picture control. And that just gave us a little more contrast, a little more saturated colors. And of course, I always shoot raw. So if I do want to make any corrections color-wise, density-wise, I can do that in post. And like I said before, I'm very impressed with the sharpness. You can see that in this duck here. That was shot at 6.3 at an equivalent of 230 millimeters. These guys here were shot at 400 at 6.3. This shot, as I was leaving the zoo, there was some flowers. This was shot at an equivalent of 350 millimeters at f11. I don't like to shoot lower than f11 at a smaller aperture than f11 because you will start to see some loss of sharpness due to diffraction. So I highly recommend this combination of the 70 to 28 with the 2x converter. I understand it's also great with the 1.4. So when I got home that day, I put my equipment away and a little later was looking out my back door and this cardinal is sitting there. So I ran downstairs, grabbed the camera, went running upstairs. It was starting to get dark at this point. Uh, it was a little bit before sunset. I had to set my ISO to 3200, but shot this at 5.6. At the full 400, it's cropped, but you can still see it's still pretty sharp, and this was done handheld. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with a new video every Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I will talk to you then.